G'day everybody, Blue here. Welcome back to Valheim. Hope you guys are doing well. In the previous episode, we continued to fumble around through the Mistlands until we eventually came across another infested mine, which actually gave us a decent number of black cores. Uh, we, I think, got three out of that, which brought our total to five, which is just enough to test out one of the new things that we could build. Uh, so I had a bit of an issue because we had the option to build a couple of things, and I opted to go for the... Uh, I, I think I've been pronouncing it incorrectly here, but I think maybe this is supposed to be Eiter, not Eater. Uh, but anyway, Eater or Eiter, whatever it is, um, we do have the refinery now. Uh, it took us a while to figure out <laughs> what to go into the funnel. I'm, I'm guessing a lot of people are going to be tearing their hairs out when they watch uh, that particular episode because, well, I, I guess the episode's probably not out on YouTube just yet for you guys. But, uh, you know, well, by now you would have seen it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so in this episode, I'm thinking of doing one thing before we leave for the Mistlands, uh, and that is to experiment further with the black cores that we have. So there's nothing stopping us, I assume, uh, from breaking this thing down and just building uh, the forge instead. Uh, now, I have noticed, though, that there is also... Uh, the option to build this thing, the Golder Table, whatever this thing is. Uh, we're going to need another five black cores for that. Um, I, I think I'm going to hold off on this until we find the extra five black cores because I feel like there's a likely requirement for additional refined iter. So, uh, I think we're going to just break this thing down and play around with uh, the forge. So let's just quickly do that. I'll leave the, the stairs there because, you know, we might need it if we do decide to set up the, the refinery once more. But yeah, let's check out what we need for the forge. Apparently we have everything for the forge, so <laughs> that's, that's a nice surprise. Uh, now, another assumption I'm going to make is that we might actually need space uh, around the Black Forge for upgrades. Again, just making an assumption. So we might have to rethink the space that we've got in here and, you know, this dungeon area that I previously set up for initially the, uh, the hot tub, uh, which is now our storage room we may actually convert this into the workshop extension. Um, so we might break down this wall and see if we can actually, you know, make it into another room. Uh, I am a little bit concerned because obviously there's uh, all of the, the walls that are above it that, uh, you know, are reliant on some of the pillars down here. We might actually uh, make some steel uh, lined wood or whatever it's called. Um, this stuff here, wood iron, actually. We might make a few poles and stuff and, uh, you know, just try to strengthen the, uh, the foundations here just so that when we do eventually break down this wall, nothing is going to collapse. Uh, anyway, let's get this thing in. There we go. There we go. Definitely seeing some armor upgrades there, new weapons, new arrows. Uh, oh my god, yep. So many things. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, alright, right. right. Mm-hmm. Spiral stairs. Yeah, it looks like we can uh, build like a whole bunch of verger uh, style building components, which I'm excited about because this will, you know, allow for a lot more decoration 
Um, spiral stairs? That's kind of cool. Um, I mean, things are set up pretty well as it is right now. So I'm not entirely sure where we're going to be incorporating the spiral stairs. Um, then there's... Yeah, a whole bunch of other stuff. The hexagonal gates, the verger gates that we saw. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Uh, I do like the darkwood gate though. I think the darkwood gate looks a little bit classier to be honest. Um, but we have like completely filled the building section. Uh, so at this point in the game, I'm almost thinking that there is not going to be uh, enough space for even more or even newer materials uh, or, sorry, building components anymore. So we could be sort of approaching the end game, potentially. Um, uh, metal walls. Yeah, it looks like the Verger use a lot of copper. Would explain why there are so many sources of copper out there. Yeah, anyway. Uh, and then there's all the stuff that we can, I assume, build from the Black Forge itself. So... Yeah, let's just take a, a look. Carapace arrows? Oh, this'll be really, really good because... Um, I mean, the, the needle arrows were okay, but I think we're getting so many carapaces that it would be worthwhile getting the carapace arrows. Uh, Himenoffel? Uh, him, it might not be a hammer, but Thor himself would still approve of this weapon. Okay. Oh, we need silver for this. That's gonna be cool. Uh, Jotun Bane. Not even the giants of old could weather the poisonous bite of this weapon. What is this? Is this, uh, yeah, it's one-handed, which I like. Is it a type of axe? I'm not sure. But one thing that I really, really want, which I saw come up before, was... Uh, did I see the... Yeah, here it is. The Mist Walker. Faint glow seems to slice through the mist. Yeah, looks cool. We need refined eater for this and some iron. Okay, right. Right. <laughs> um, I'm almost thinking, guys, we go back to the refinery to get at least 10. Uh, 15 iron, that's not going to be difficult to find. Then fine wood and wisps. Yeah, that's a really good idea if you ask me. Uh, and then we should be able to just get Mistwalker immediately. Even at level 1, that shouldn't be uh, a bad idea to, to have. Hang on, let's just compare here. So, ah, alright. So the Black Metal Sword is a bit better though. It's 113 fully upgraded. So maybe I don't need to rush into getting the Mistwalker right now until we have sufficient refined eater and fine wood and all that sort of stuff. Uh, hmm. Yeah, okay, we need refined eater here as well. Yeah, okay, I, I, I'm definitely seeing why we would want both, um, both things going at the same time. Um, hmm, I, I'm just sort of rethinking whether or not I want, um, I want to keep the, the forge around, or if I should just continue to refine Eater. I think it's actually better if we refine the Eater first, actually, guys. Uh, because everything, everything, oh, well, not everything. I, I take that back, but uh, a lot of stuff requires that we have refined Eater. And I guess the more refined Eater that we can process, the better. Uh, what is this? Crom two-handed as deadly as it is shiny and it's very shiny I mean this sounds badass uh, it looks like a giant like 
two-handed sword. And yeah, I, I'm into it. <laughs> uh, then we've got the Arbalist. Uh, a slow but powerful weapon. But we're going to need bolts for this, right? Uh, 32, 72. Yeah. All right. So the bone bolts. Yeah, okay. My bad. I, I was looking at the carapace bolts, but we probably... Uh, we probably don't want to use the bolts if we continue to use uh, a bow and arrow. Like, for example, if we're using spine snap, uh, then... I guess we're going to need to make the arrows from here. Hmm, okay. We don't have new arrows, though. So I suppose we just get the benefit of a brand new uh, bow, but we're going to have to use the arrows that we already know of. Mmm, tricky, tricky. Or we go for the arbalist. 200 pierce. I mean, is there any... Uh, any argument to continue to use spine, uh, sorry, to continue to use arrows in, sorry, not arrows, bows in that case. I suppose it did say that it is a slow weapon though. So it could be that uh, that is going to be a big trade-off. So if we're looking to deal a lot of damage, say fighting a boss or something, maybe it might not be a bad idea to have the arbalist. Yeah, maybe. Oh, here, here's the arrow. Sorry, I, I got confused. We saw that carapace bolts here. Yes, okay, carapace arrows. Definitely worth while then. Um, hmm. Carapace helmet. Do we have any new capes? Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I saw a new cape or not. I mean, everything in here is new. Resistant versus Frost. Style. Oh, okay. Right. We can actually change the the type of cape that we want. Um. I mean, this has much more durability. Armor one. Damage modifier. Resistant versus Frost. Uh. What about the other armor that we have. Do those give us any resistances? Movement speed, minus 5%. Uh, yeah, okay. Which is what we've currently got going on as well. So it's not so bad. But no resistances. Probably better armor though, right? Like, okay, so these things, they already start at armor 32. Which is basically what we've currently got with our armor full, fully upgraded. Carapace buckler, shield. Um, so we probably want the shield. Mighty sledge yearns to wreak havoc. Uh, Two-handed, okay. Sounds cool, but I think I, I would probably go for Jotun Bane. Um, is there another, like, blunt damage weapon that we can get? Maybe 
the Demolisher, but this is a two-handed weapon, so... Hmm. Alright. Sorry, guys. Uh, spending a lot of time there just looking at our options, but... Now that we've sort of taken a look at what we can do, uh, I think it's maybe time that we just quickly go back. Uh, what is this thing? A vice. A Black Forge improvement. Okay, right. Another Black Forge improvement. Good. Good. Um, any other improvements for any of the other work tables? I don't think so. Then there's the stuff that we unlocked previously. Uh, what I'm curious about is these traps, whether or not they actually, uh, you know, if they're a consumable or if they, um, if they can just be picked up and reset once they're triggered, if you know what I mean. Um, the ballista, again, I sort of made an assumption in the previous episode that these things might be automatic and that they would just shoot in the direction of enemies. Excuse me. Um, but I'm not sure if that's the case or not. Right, um, well. I think I'm gonna get rid of this because there's no point at the moment. I think we need to have Eater refining as much as possible. So we should just continue with the refinement process. Um, let's drop soft tissue. Uh, we do need sap in there, right? So this refined eater, I'm gonna have to keep it somewhere. Uh, let me just check if we've got any spare sap. Yep, we do. So, um, just another thing that I've sort of deducted here based on my observations is that the Golder Table may be what gives us magical related items. Uh, because I haven't seen any magic related items just yet. Or at least it's not so obvious to me. Anyway, there you go guys. So, uh, we are making some improvements but definitely still need more of those black cores. So, um, I think what I'm going to focus on is making sure that we've got... Oh, actually, we, we do have a bit here, don't we? I was thinking we only had the seven. My bad. We, we do have a little bit. I tell you what, guys. What, what we'll do is we'll continue to explore and try and find some more infested mines. Uh... Obviously, grabbing sap in the process and also trying to uh, get more um, soft tissue. And when we come back, uh, I would say maybe beginning of the next episode, we can try to just like do what we did uh, at the beginning of this episode, which is break down the machine, whip up the forge, and then we can sort of craft a few uh, new things. Uh, armor is probably the priority here because the armor is going to be at the same level. Um, I'm just looking at the required uh, improvements for the forge because we will need those upgrades. Yeah, alright. So the improvements for the forge don't really need like refined iter or anything like that, which is good. Uh, we'll need to get those pretty quickly because the first thing we're going to want to do is to upgrade the armor at least to uh, the second level uh, because I think that's where we'll start seeing improvements in our defensive capabilities against those seekers. Uh, anyway, I think it's time to continue with the expedition so let's get a move on. Yeah, that can go there, that's fine. Uh, Eek Drazzle Wood, definitely need more.
Uh, rested buff. We're at 8 minutes at the moment. Should just quickly grab a rested buff. Uh, and while we're sort of hanging around here waiting for our rested buff to activate, I'll just quickly take a look at where we're at. Um, so yeah, we did find those mines. I can't remember if we were out here or somewhere else, but yeah, we just need to continue further south, I would say. Uh, and hopefully we'll find more mines within this general vicinity. That'd be really good. Um, I think the hot tub might be needing some more firewood, but we'll get to that later. Uh, I might just extract some sap first, so let's just go through the Mistlands portal. Uh, I should actually have some food that's uh, very dangerous to be going around without being properly fed. We repair that. Oh, and uh, let's chuck out the, the little wisp there. I wonder if the sap actually does run out of these uh, roots. It would make sense for that to be the case, and that you would have to then, uh, you know, replace the the extractors in a different position. Yeah, so a lot of stuff to think about now that I know uh, which way we're heading when it comes to upgrades and new items. Um, these cores are really holding us back though, <laughs> that's for sure. So I can't wait until we find, well, I guess it's another 10 more cores, really, uh, to be able to have everything that we need. I don't know if the cores are going to be required for anything else. Um, my thought is that they likely will be needed for some of the items that we get in the, what, what was it called again? The Golder Table. That's my guess, anyway. Okay, here we are. Um, where are we? So I had the mines, which we've been to, so I'm just crossing that off. And yeah, let's just collect on all of this and we'll make our way. I think we'll go east first uh, and then we'll just sort of cut through, just make sure that there's nothing that we're missing and then we'll continue further south from there. Again, getting super excited about all of the stuff that we can get into. Um, and I don't think we've ever seen a two-handed sword before, so I'm sort of excited about the two-handed sword as well. So we'll check that out. I mean, it's just unfortunate how much of uh, the, uh, the refined eater we're going to need for that, though. Uh, didn't have enough stamina for that one. Let's just park here for a second. Jiggle around a little bit. Okay, good times, good times. Let's again do our jiggling. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Uh, after having experienced a few mines now, uh, I guess I shouldn't really shy away from finding seekers because those seekers do protect the entrances to the mines. So if we find some, you never know, there could be a mine nearby, right? So uh, maybe it's not a good idea to always avoid Seekers when you see them. Jotun Puffs. Okay, so... 
I think with Jotun Puffs, I'm not going to worry about marking them down anymore. Okay, we've reached the mountains, apparently. So this is great, but not the right way. We'll just cut through the mountains for a little bit. Yeah, I only wish that we could, you know, find the black cores from the Verger settlements as well. I mean, in my view, it makes sense that they have cores because don't they use the cores to make some of the stuff that they they make? Okay, so we have reached the ocean out here. I am hearing a, uh, maybe that's a soldier down there. Soldiers! So far, I haven't really seen soldiers protecting, uh, you know, entrances to the mines or anything like that. But, um... Definitely normal, uh, normal seekers have been found to be at the mines. Alright. I don't think there's anything out here, guys, so I'm gonna head further south. Oh, um, one thing that I just thought about though is the fact that uh, we may be out here a little bit late so Okay, good. Uh, and as I said, because we're sort of playing with fire here, with it being so late, I think it's time for us to to go home. Just quickly set things up and get a move on. Now, this should also give us the chance, actually, uh, come to think of it, uh, to make some carapace arrows. Um, there's no reason why we can't get carapace arrows right now, right? So, uh, I think we should do that. We've got seven sap in there. I, I guess maybe we've ran out of soft tissue. Perhaps maybe I should be uh, looking for more soft tissue before continuing our journey further. Um, let me just throw these in there. The carapaces though, we now have a bit more of a use for them uh, and I can I can see a reason for having quite a few of them. Uh, and we need some wood as well, so let's just grab plain wood. Which apparently we don't really have much of. We might have to grab some. Oh, 
Oh no, but we don't have the the thing set up. <laughs> um So, do we get sap back if we destroy this thing? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, let's just switch to Megan Jord for a second. We'll grab all of that. Let me just quickly set up the, uh, the forge here. And we'll just quickly use it for making some arrows. Yeah, definitely not enough wood. I'm going to switch out to... Uh, sorry, not... Uh, I am going to switch out the arrows. Let me just throw one piece of wood in there. Um, yeah, I just need a little bit more wood. So, I'm going to quickly grab some more... Yes, it's night, but we don't have to sleep, I don't think. We can continue working. I'll start from here. And yeah, I don't mind attracting... ...some raid wharves and stuff, because it'd be good to also find some more resins. I think I'll just leave that log there. I need to worry about it too much. We'll make a few more batches of these arrows, and I think we should be pretty sweet from there. And then we'll we'll continue with the uh, refined eater production. Uh, so yeah, let's go with carapace arrows. Yeah, that's a, a decent amount, I think. So, let's switch things out. Uh, and I'll I'll throw all of this back. Uh, since we don't have any soft tissue anymore, uh, I won't worry about making the, um, the refinery. Um... The only difference with the refinery is that we need black marble and black metal for it, right? So I might just keep what we need for that right here, just so that we know that it's sort of sitting there uh, and we can sort of grab it pretty quickly. Put all of this other stuff away. And we did see the bone bolts, so I'm sort of thinking whether or not I want to save more bones now. Yeah, looking good. Um, yeah, more space for more equipment for another day. Uh, Great Wharf Brute Trophy. I don't know if we have a use for that, actually. But I might just chuck that in the bin. We're not going to obliterate anytime soon anyway, so if I figure out that we do need it for something, we'll obviously retrieve it. Okay, I think we're looking decent. 
Uh, hopefully it's still night. We'll have a sleep. Okay, so I'm just sort of having a, a think of whether or not I want to just continue exploring. You know, which is fair, but then while exploring I would like to still be able to make the refined eater. So with that in mind, I was thinking maybe we try and get the the soft tissue. So we've got soft tissue here, but I know there is more soft tissue here where the bones are at. Uh, I, unfortunately I haven't really been marking down exactly where we can find bones with uh, actual, uh, again I've been calling them Jotuns, but they're, uh, they're actually Jotuns and Jotun puffs. Um, but yeah, I think we'll we'll try and just see if we can harvest from here. So let's let's get a move on and do that. Uh, and I think that'll be a, a more efficient use of our time while we're exploring, uh, if we can continue to refine the eater or eater. Okay. Been a while since we've been back here. There is still the matter of, uh, you know, coming up with our um, Mistlands farm. So that is going to be on the agenda as well very, very soon. Um, hang on. I think I missed it. Was it right here? Hang on. Why did I mark that there are bones here? Clearly there are no bones around here. Huh. Could be around there. Unless I mis uh, mistake the bones to be around there somewhere. Uh, let's just have the omelette. And let me just quickly um, look around a little bit more because I don't want to miss out on harvesting the soft tissue if there are indeed bunches of soft tissue around. I'm pretty sure there is some soft tissue somewhere around here. Or am I mistaken? Yeah, here. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with Soldier Seeker here.
Alright. Just quickly reset that up, and... Yeah, I'll, I'll actually gather this. I think it's pretty important that we get as much as we can. I think I can hear more Seekers or something like that out there. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that helps, definitely. <laughs> okay, so if you can get to the very bottom, uh, you can literally, like, uh unlodge the entire thing. I'm gonna have to get my way out of here. Oh, okay. I can definitely foresee uh, people getting stuck in the skull if they didn't have uh, the pickaxe with full durability. Like, if they ran out of durability while they were Harvesting the um, the soft tissue. I feel like you could easily get uh, trapped in there. All right. Um, I don't think there is really any reason for us to to stick around here. So I'm gonna head back. We're gonna set up the refinery once more. And I'm gonna at least get the refinery chugging away, you know? Uh, I don't know how quick the sap extracts. But I might quickly check on our extractors once more. We can get some more right now, that'd be good. Yeah, okay, it's already 10 out of 10. I didn't realize that you can actually punch underwater. Well, it's not exactly underwater, but while you're swimming. Let's go. All right, uh, let's go back to Megan Jord for a second. And let's 
gather what we need. And we'll get the Eater refining process started. Now apparently, uh, with the damage that a lot of the, uh, well, the refining process does to the buildings around us, um, apparently that's not the case if you built a structure out of marble. Apparently marble is immune to uh, some of the damage that this thing dishes out. Don't have any more sap, that's fine. I don't think we have to have as much sap as we do the actual soft tissue. But uh, anyway, so that's at least a good start. Uh, and then obviously we'll periodically check on how it's going. Um, soft tissues, yeah, we'll lump more in together, like so. Uh, and then we'll store everything else. Mandibles. We are going to get hungry pretty soon though, so I figure maybe it might not be a bad idea to just stock up on some more food. So, omelette. We'll do a roast chook. And we'll do meat platter. I'll probably come back to the cooking, maybe not this episode, maybe the episode after. Uh, yeah, Jotin Puffs, I don't mind carrying some more. I guess we don't really need so many Jotin Puffs right now though, right? Might help if I actually put that on first. Righto! Okay. South it is. Let's go. Yeah, again, ar arguable as to whether or not I need to pick up all these Jotun Puffs, but you know what? Let's just do it. Come on, game. Got any more of them infested mines for me? Uh, oh god, alright, that was a big drop. <laughs> right, gotta be careful. Uh, I do need to cut down some Yggdrasil wood, don't I? Uh, so I, sh I should actually stop for some of that. 
I assume that vergers are okay with me cutting down trees. Like they wouldn't get upset from that, right? Did take a while. Let's eat. What we have going on here? Verger Mage. Which would lead me to believe that there is a fort nearby. Or maybe not. So I guess the rogues are not the only verger that do actually patrol. Perhaps maybe the mages do that as well. Though I don't see them as regularly. Yes. Give me that juicy, juicy hair meat. Uh, I actually didn't see in the the new forge whether or not we needed the hides to make the new armor sets. Um, I should have checked on that actually, and how many we need, but I'm sure we'll need plenty. So at some point there could be an episode where we're really focusing on trying to get those hairs. Not looking forward to that episode to be honest because uh, they're really challenging to try and take down. Very slippery. Again, if any one of you guys have tips on how to take down more hairs more consistently, I'm all ears. Oh, hello. Might there be a mine nearby that you know of? Um, you know what? It's kind of getting dark, isn't it? Let's uh, let's do the right thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm hoping for the best that the uh, the portal doesn't get taken down or anything like that. Look at all that juicy juicy eater sitting there. Love it.
Just gonna grab a few more pieces of these normal uh, wood logs and throw them into the fire there. All right, let's have a sleep, and I'll uh, I'll go back out and try to progress further. It sounds like the eater might also refine uh, a lot faster if you sleep, I think. Um, but anyway, I feel like with the amount of refined eater that we have, there is a chance that we can actually get one or two pieces of armor done uh, early in the next episode. We might actually need to uh, sort of plan for that though. So I'm sort of having a think here. Do we want to throw in some more iron into uh, into the smelters? We do have a little bit here. Probably we will need a little bit more. So maybe not a bad idea to just get the process started. Um, so let's do it. Yeah, good. Um, throw that back there and we do need some coal. Let me just quickly get the coal in. Need some resins as well. Goodness me. Right, uh, let's keep going. We might have to fight the Yol immediately once we go through. I don't mind doing that. We do have the new arrows as well, so could be good. Let me just get that and get that. And yeah, let's see what we can do. Might be better if we had a, uh, a decent position, though. Okay, these arrows are a bit strange. They almost feel like they're a little bit heavier therefore not really going in the direction that I'm hoping that they would Is it running away, or what's the deal? Also, you know what, I feel like I have a, a decent chance here at... ...getting up to its face and wailing at it. Can we even do that? Is that even a thing? <laughs> oh, literally playing with fire. <sighs> um, did we even get anything out of that? Maybe not. The another question I have is whether or not there's going to be another 
way for us to find uh, the soft tissue if it's always going to have to be like Jotun remains. I suppose maybe there's a chance that we might find it in like chests and stuff, but I don't know if that's a, a thing. little vantage point here. Alright, jump right there. Okay. Yeah, we've worked our way way south. I think there is a mountain that's just dividing these uh, these mistlands. So perhaps if we do cut across, uh, we're going to have to climb a mountain. What would probably be the best thing for us to do is to go around the entire mountain rather than cut across it. Yeah, I'm not really interested in fighting another Yol, to be honest. Um, and next time we do go home, I feel uh, we definitely want to just make sure we are uh, retrieving another potion. That potion literally saved our lives back there. I feel we would have been dead without it. have that. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, let's continue on further. I'm sort of curious about the description of the Mist Walker sword uh, because it did say something around slicing through the mist. I wonder if having the sword would ward off some of the mist as well and that would essentially negate the need for having the, uh, the wisp. If that's the case, that'd be kind of cool, because you could essentially equip Megan Jordan try and carry a whole bunch more stuff as a result. My goodness, it's so difficult to navigate this place, isn't it? <laughs> uh. Alright, more stuff down there. We will maybe... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be anything interesting down there. I think we'll go up. Okay. Goodness me. Alright. Well, I think this is... Probably a good place for us to 
call it an episode, guys, because uh, it's been about an hour. I need to take a little bit of a break in this uh, sweltering heat. I'm talking about Australia. It's 40 degrees here. <laughs> uh, but uh, I would definitely say that this episode has been very productive. After having seen, uh, you know, what the refinery does for us, plus what the forge does for us, I'm getting really excited about all of the things that we might be able to potentially get as a result. Uh, so I'm sort of uh, gearing up towards slowly getting better equipment uh, and we'll, you know, switch between having the forge set up and having the refinery set up until we can obviously afford both of them. And I think that's probably a, an efficient way to go about, um, you know, uh, upgrading as we progress. Because, again, finding these infested mines seem to be like finding a needle in a haystack, but uh, it is how it is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Leave a like or a dislike or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.